Hi guys, welcome to shelf three, uh, the last one of this month. Uh, so I'm going to do three a month so I can fit other things in. I'm trying to film them in groups, so I film three together and then load them over, over maybe a two week period, uh, as well as other stuff I'm going to be filming. Uh, I have a lot planned for 2018, including a charity based video. Uh, the charity I had in mind, I'm now, I've now changed, I'm going to do that one next year. This year I'm going to do something else, uh, one that's become quite close to my heart uh, and I'd like to see them get more funding. Uh, so let's see what we can do, but I want to wait till I've got more subscribers before I do it, so, so I'll put the word out. Even if everyone just put a pound or something like that to this charity, but obviously I would give you the details for charity, I wouldn't expect the money to me, it would go directly to the charity, uh, but that's something I will do at a later point. I may need your help to do that because I think it's a worthwhile cause for well, you'll, you'll find out. I will do an announcement video uh, probably later in the year. Anyway, let's get on to shelf three. I'm going to start off with the DVDs. After this, I'll get into the right order on the shelf. I have Bedazzled, uh, Betrayal, Bangkok Dangerous, uh, Bright Star, which just looks interesting. Probably isn't. Uh, Big Miracle, uh, Batteries Not Included, which is a great film, I remember renting that on VHS from Blockbuster back in the day. Black Hole, classic, I'd love to see a Blu-ray release of that. Uh, there was mention of a remake, but I wasn't sure. Blind Date, not to be confused with the brilliant Bruce Willis one. I thought it was that when I ordered it, because they didn't show a picture, so I took pot luck, but it was 10p, so it's a true story one. Have a look. Uh, the Boat That Rocked. I think it's called something else in other countries. Blown Away, which I want on Blu-ray because I love this film. Black Cauldron. Film when it was in the cinema, I didn't get to see it. because uh, oh, I think they thought it would be too scary for me as a Disney film. My brother saw it and I never get, got to see it. And I've had it all these I've still not watched it. I only watched it because I never got to see it in the cinema. I collected the little figures from the Kellogg's Corn Flakes, I think it was. Uh, I had them all, they were like just plain coloured figures of the trap with the horns and the little creature and uh, all the characters, I had about five or six of them. Uh, the Bone Collector, and I also have the Bone Collector widescreen edition. Uh, they both run... Uh, yeah, they both run exactly the same amount of time. One says... 113 minutes, the other one says 1 hour 53. But I kept the two different editions of the same film, but I do love that it's a really good film. And we have Big Mama's House 1 and 2. Unfortunately, I noticed the other day, it contains Big Mama House 2 and Big Mama's Like Father, Like Son, not number one. So that's a bit annoying. So I need to get all the first one, so and put it in there. Uh, but it was 10p, so it's not big. Brewster's Millions, great classic so is starring late great John Candy uh, and Richard Pryor. Absolutely, he, he's given. Uh, he has been given thirty million dollars, and he, he has a single month to spend it all without requiring any assets. So basically speaking, he has to have the thirty million spend it within how he wants but he cannot have anything left no items so you couldn't buy a 30 million pound worth of chairs because you'd have chairs uh so you have to spend it by so you can spend it on wages or renting something but he can't have anything left and buy if he has nothing left at the end of the th of the month he then will inherit 300 million but he has to do it that way and it's just a great comedy film. It's kind of like watching him try and the things he does to get round it. It's just Richard Pryor is best. And we have uh, the Bench Warmers, Battle for the Battle of the Bulge, not on there for uh, Blue Streak, which I want on Blu-ray. Uh, Bicentennial Man, I think I'm not sure if it's available on Blu-ray. Obviously, the late great Robin Williams, Bad Santa, uh, Behind the Candelabra. Uh, Bulletproof Monk. Scores more. Uh, 
Brighton Rock, which I want on Blu-ray. Looks quite interesting. I've not watched it yet, but it's ridiculous to see Blu-ray. American Import of Brothers Keeper. Uh, Bruce Almighty, again I want that on Blu-ray. Burning Bright needs a Blu-ray release. It's a great film, it's a man who's trying to kill his now wife and stepdaughter by locking them in the house during a storm with the tiger. Uh, some of the CGI on it is a bit dodgy, but only because obviously you can't really have a live tiger with a woman and a kid. So, but it's a great concept. It's a really well done film. There's, there's a few, as I said, there's a few iffy effects bits, but if you can get past that, it's well worth watching. There's some really sort of tense scenes, including the bit where she's in like a laundry chute and it sees her, and that's a really well done scene. Buster, uh, the butterfly effect. Uh, Butterfly Effect 2 and Butterfly Effect 3 Revelations. Uh, I think they are available on Blu-ray, but I will get them one day. Uh, before I go to sleep. Uh, Basic Instinct 2. I'll focus again. Battlefield Earth. A Saga of the Year 3000. John Travolta, apparently terrible. So I'll have a look. A Bug's Life, which I won... Uh, from the one eyed Willie. So, uh, check his channel out if you've not checked it. I know I've got 30 feet, he's got a lot more subscribers than me, but uh, check his out, it's a great channel, great guy. So, definitely check him out. Uh, Bridge to Terabithia. Uh, Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. Uh, Bad Grandpa. Uh, let's get on Blu ray. I'm trying to get more Blu rays and DVDs now, sort of. <laughs> My last one was just predominantly blue uh, DVDs. There's a lot of DVDs. there's a few DVDs there, but I'm going to try and get more Blu-rays and slow down on the DVDs a bit unless it's something special. Uh, I'm getting a bit carried away. <laughs> blue still. I need to import the Blu-ray because this is a great film. Uh, Behind enemy lines. Uh, bucket list, which is. Great little film. I think I may already have this on Blu-ray as well, so if I do, I'm going to double up. I need to check. Uh, basement. Uh, Band Slam. Birdcage. Great film. Uh, Bewitched. Uh, Butcher Gear. A Breathless. Oh, spat then, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Bell, uh, Boat Trip, uh, Black Dahlia, uh, The Beach, which I watched many years ago and couldn't get my head around it, so I, I saw it ridiculously cheap, so I got it to give it another try. <laughs> See if it doesn't end up on they made that shit. Uh, Battle for Sky Arc, still got to take the label off because I did not pay seven ninety nine for that. Uh, because of Win Dixie. And the Barry Norman's interactive film quiz. Let's see if I'm any good at it. Okay, and we have Blu rays Bad Boys, Bad Teacher, Bad Mums, Battle Los Angeles. Uh, quite good sci fi. Not the most amazing film I've seen, but enjoyable. Black Swan, which I had on. Uh, DVD, so I put it with, is that, I found a digital copy DVD, so I'll show it with that. Uh, so it's like a digital copy and DVD in one, but the one with it was just a digital, so I threw that out and put the digital DVD in there. Battleship, which I want to get in 4K, because I actually quite like that film. Uh, the Butler. Uh, the Box. Uh, Basic Instinct, which I've got in the pound shop, along with the box. Bizarre, isn't it? I get that with her doing the leg crossing scene in a film called The Box. Uh, Birkin Hair, Pound Shop. Uh, Beowulf Director's Cut, which I got for 49p. Uh, B Movie, which is actually quite a good film. Uh, Beetlejuice, classic. Apparently, they're making a second one, so interesting to see how they do it or if they ruin it. I'm hoping they do a good job. Uh, Beetlejuice Cop Trilogy, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, big. I have the Big Bang Theory uh, 1 to 6. I love this series. Uh, need to complete it because I've, I've not got them all. Season 7. 
That's season eight. I think it's season nine and ten. So must get more I can afford it. Big Trouble in Little China. This is the Arrow release edition. Amazing film. Love it. Bugsy Malone. Great sort of uh, kids musical. Black Hawk Down. Another good film. Behind Enemy Lines, which I've realised I've actually got on DVD, so I can double up. So I need to do some doubling up at some point. Uh, so I'll make my own sort of two disc editions. Blade. Uh, Blade 2. Blade Trinity. Blade Runner, this is the final cut. I need to get the new one summoned. I've yet to see the new one. Blended. I watched the original again, it's been a long time. Blitz, which is a great sort of cop killer film. Buried, this is uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds. It's quite a serious film, obviously, compared to what he does now, it's quite a serious film. Uh, the Backup Plan. Uh, the Brave One, which is actually a really good film. Uh, Bride Wars. Bridget Jones's Diary. Bridget Jones' Edge of Reason. And Bridget Jones's Baby, which is actually quite good. I, I found there's some really good funny scenes in there. I saw the cinema with my wife. Uh, there's some great scenes, yeah. Bucket List on Blu-ray. So again, I can double up uh, my DVD to that. So this is... <laughs> This is the thing I've sort of I've upgraded and sort of didn't realize. I'm trying to I'm looking at the catalog my film collection so I don't end up like this. So I can actually double up before doing collection videos. Uh, Bridge Too Far, amazing war film. Uh, Bringing Down the House. This is the tenth anniversary edition. Uh, Broken Arrow. Baywatch extended cut. I actually quite enjoyed that. Uh, the wife loved it. So. Uh, Bullet to the Head, Bloodsport and Time Cop, love Bloodsport, just good, it just happens that Time Cop come with it, which is another good film. Blue Crush, this is the Danish edition, I think. Uh, Bodyguard, uh, Born Identity, Born Supremacy, The Born Ultimatum. Born Legacy, which is the lesser of the four. Uh, Bounty Hunter. And last one is The Boy Next Door. Yeah. So I got for a pound somewhere. Not an I think I paid for it. So that's it. That is shelf three. Uh, and that is it for now. I will move on to shelf four in a few weeks. Or maybe a few days. Or maybe straight away, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm, I'm going to space them out because someone said to me, perhaps you should do it in one video. Honestly, I'd outrank, I would overrun Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I don't think anyone would sit for three hours at me yapping. Uh, so I'm trying to keep them short. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, please come back soon. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. I don't know whether that was say subscribe, but please subscribe. Please tell your friends to subscribe. Please be good and come back soon. Bye-bye.